Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Practically everyone has heard of computer viruses, whether it be malware, ransomware, and their association with hackers and cybersecurity, and they've been popularized and fictionalized in TV and film. But have you ever wondered exactly what they do to a computer and how they work? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now with a tool that's taking the industry by storm called Any.Run. And the best part is, anyone can do it, and it's absolutely free, so stay tuned. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open your browser and go to any.run's website, which I'll put the link in description, but it's super simple. You can just open your browser and in the address type any.run and it'll take you here. You will need to create a free account in order to get access to do the things we're doing, but it's absolutely free. I will go over some of the paid options out there if you're someone that's a professional in this industry, an IT student with an interest in cybersecurity or a super enthusiast. But everything that we're going to do here for the most part is free and we can go ahead and get started. Right when you open up here, you can see that we have this big interface with this globe map here. And this is essentially a bunch of intel about infections that have been detected mostly through any.run by people submitting samples here. And you can see it by country, what's being infected um, on people's computers around the world. And that's really good intel. There's more under threat intelligence, but we're not going to go into that today. What we're going to do today is we're going to break Windows. We're going to purposely destroy Windows operating systems, and it's all on Any.Run's virtual servers. So they have, we're literally able to boot up Windows on their computers virtually and do whatever we want, and there's absolutely no risk to our own computers. That's the best part. There's no risk involved here, and it's completely controlled. Now, unlike some other security sites that and security YouTubers that I actually like, they will show you a bunch of really powerful tools that require a bit of skill and training and experience. You don't need to know anything to do what we're doing here. Any.run is going to have all the tools automatically running and with a little bit of guidance from me, anybody can do this and enjoy this. So the first thing we need is that we need a virus. We need something infected, something malicious, something suspicious. If you already have one, great. If you don't, I'll tell you how you can get some. So if somebody sent you something suspicious, you can also use this to test it out on any.run's computers rather than your own. Never test suspicious files on your own computer. Okay, and so where you get these, there's already some here. Now I'm going to be using some that I've downloaded from malware databases and I could I te theoretically could show you where you can go gather virus samples, but I'm not sure YouTube would be okay with it. You know what? I don't care. What's YouTube going to do to me anyway? I'm going to show you how to get viruses and they can't do a th So you can get viruses completely safely right here through public tasks. These are already submitted by other users. So if you don't have any to submit, there's plenty over here to gather from. And when you just click on the public tasks, we see all of this list here. So an easy way to get what you want is to click this filter icon right here. And then over here on the verdict, change that to malicious. We don't want the ones that no one detected a threat on. So change that to malicious. And then if you want to put something specific here, if you're looking for a specific type of virus to test, then you can click search right here. And then we have all of these that were detected as malicious. So they're potentially viruses and whatnot. And if you once you want to get one, you open it by clicking there and then over here, we can click get sample right here. You can also watch what happened to them. So we can go ahead and click download sample right here. So once you click download, then you select where you want to save it, save it right there. And then the password it says is infected. So when we unzip it in the next task, we need to remember that password. So now we need to boot up a Windows that we're going to absolutely destroy and infect with a virus. We're gonna click up here to new task. And that will bring up this window right here, which is giving us all of our options. Now, first thing we can do is we upload the virus and you can also put in a URL that you think like a website that tried to infect you, put that there. Don't run it on your own computer. Right here, I'm gonna upload and I have some very dangerous malware that I have from virus databases that I was testing earlier. This one's a rat. This is a remote access Trojan. These are really wild to watch because they are extremely high profile. They essentially let a hacker remotely control your computer. One of the most scary experiences you can have. So we're definitely going to put this one on there for sure. This one will have a lot of activity, but whichever one you found in the database, 
perfectly fine. I'm going to have it right here. This next one is, if you leave it fine, you can actually just run the public task right here, but here's more options. I'm going to tell it to run from the desktop so we get more action. And then under the duration, if you're on the free version, 60 seconds is your limit. Um, you have 60 seconds to, it'll boot up Windows immediately, and then you have 60 seconds to run that application and break Windows and see what it does. Um, I'm on the paid version, which is I have 660. So we'll run that one just for this video. But most things you can just use 60 seconds. And if you didn't have enough time, do another task. It's free. So do it again next time. Then over on the, uh, the right side here under operating system, it's Windows 7 32-bit. If you're on the free version, which most of you guys are gonna be, that's the one you can use. And if you have the paid versions, you can go all the way up to Windows 11 64-bit or even Ubuntu. If you wanna break Linux, yes, viruses are on Linux, even though if you say that, the, the uh, Linux community will tear your head off. But anyway, we're gonna select Windows 7 for this one because we wanna talk about the free one. I'm gonna use the 660 seconds because hey, give me some extra time to make the video, okay? Give me a break. And then from here, we can select more specific things. Like if you want a specific application in here, but for this example, we're just gonna break Windows. So let's run the public task. And then when it says here, it's saying, do you understand that it's public? Um, the public task means you don't own any of this research material. Uh, if you find a new virus, and you thought you were going to become famous as discovering the virus, you put it on any.run, any.run claims ownership. So that's the that's how it's free. They get your research by finding viruses. So perfectly good. It's uploading the file, and then it's going to boot up Windows for us. And we also have full view of the processes going on here. And we have 11 minutes here. You'll have 60 seconds, so be quick. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extract it. We have WinRAR already here. We're going to extract the rat that we have. The password, like you remember, is infected. So hit that. It's now on the desktop in this folder here. So let's go ahead and run it, right? Let's break Windows. Let's see what this thing does. I've double clicked on it. Things are happening over here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Let's see what happens. We're waiting a little bit. And what this thing's doing, I think right now, yep, it's communicating on the internet. We got this weird error. You ever clicked on something and been infected? And you get a weird error? Yeah, here's some signs that something was wrong that we shouldn't have clicked on that file. I'm gonna click okay here. Oh, that okay was a trap. When I clicked okay, this thing opened up SCH task EXE. It started creating some things going on here. And we got another VBC EXE doing something. Uh-oh, we got Remcos has been detected. Remcos has been detected. We can click on this and see what that is. So we got some information on it. We can also do some research a little bit later. This is connecting out to the internet, obviously. We got some outside communications here. We have Windows using SVCH host. This is how Windows communicates out to the internet. A lot of people are worried, what's SVCH host.exe? It's how your computer communicates on the internet. It's not a virus. Viruses can use it, but so are you. So um, this one right here, Got a lot of activity. We're communicating to an outside IP address right here, and we can actually copy it. And I'll show you another thing you can do. Uh, who is IP? Let's see who this IP address is. Uh, bada bing, we'll paste that in here. Let's see who our computer is talking to. Nothing? Use a better one. Come on. Put it right there. Who are we talking to here? Who's our computer talking to? Uh, it's communicating out to Quadranet. It's in Los Angeles. I don't think that's a CNC server, command and control server. Could be. But all of this stuff, we see exactly what it's doing, and we also have details that it is definitely malicious. And we also have malicious communications going out. So this is detecting here that we have a network Trojan. So this is actually very dangerous. This thing is not only communicating out to malware command and control, it's communicating out to a server on the internet to remotely control this PC. Very bad. Also, it's a network Trojan, meaning it can infect other computers on the network. Very dangerous. I'm glad we're running it on any.run and not on my computer because this would wreck my day. And we can go ahead and do some more stuff. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. More info and Remcos over here. 
really good stuff. We can see the command line here. Remco's detected. It's in the registry. Yeah, bad news. We see all kinds of stuff. Suricata has detected it. Suricata is uh, a technology in routers and network. Um, I, I use it. It, it. it scans traffic coming in and out of a network for malicious activity. So it detected it right off the bat. Yeah. So that actually was relatively quick. Within a few seconds, or a, in, in a minute, this thing was done. I mean, this is now communicating out. There's actually, uh, there's actually three connections. We got three hackers on here connected to this. I wonder if they they know that we're on a virtual machine and that they're not, they're not really hacking my computer. Um, okay, we got something else. Um, so the hacker has installed uh, more malicious stuff on our on our computer. They installed search indexer.exe that's not really a search indexer uh, that's what they called it so that we wouldn't notice it but it's stealing personal data if you had if they were running this on your computer they would immediately stole your passwords that were saved to your browser do not save logins and credit cards to your browser use a use a secure password manager um, i use nordpass for example um, you can, if you have ESETs um, Premium, ESET Premium, I can put links in the description to my, my recommended antivirus. It has a password manager. You want that protected. You don't want to save it unencrypted to your browser because if you got infected with this, the hacker here obviously connects. They don't see anything useful. Well, obviously your logins are valuable. They can steal your banking information, steal your money, steal your social media. There's, there's, they're looking for value on you. So yes, the whole point of this was it's a network Trojan. It's a remote access Trojan that remotely controls your computer. And it also has valuables. It has a network Trojan to infect another computer. What if there's nothing useful that the, the attacker wants here? Well, maybe there's another computer on the network, your mother's computer, your brother's computer. And so it's gonna infect as many machines on the network as possible. And then when it gets there, hmm, I don't see anything useful. Let's steal the passwords. That's what this does. So last time I ran this, this didn't happen, which is telling me that the hacker that's connected to this, this virtual machine and doesn't know it, um, did that manually because they have full remote access to the computer. They, they, are, they are the administrator. So very good. And we're gonna go ahead and stop because it's not doing anything more. And I don't think we want to just watch this hacker sit around to do nothing. Now I know some of you might think this is a bit complicated because I went really fast, but I was trying to save time on the video. But you have all the time in the world after you perform this to go through exactly what happened to each computer you've broken. And they'll be here on the left here. Here's all the computers I've broken or infected with malware. And you can see the screenshots moving your mouse left to right. If you have the paid version like this one here, you can actually watch it like a video. But that's just for going Gucci. We can still go through everything that happened. If I click down here to threats, we still have all this information here but what's really cool is is if you don't know anything about this or you're still learning over here on the right with trackers if I click one of these it'll take me to a link here at any.run that tells me all about Remcos this is the Trojan rat stealer that we were infected with now if we click over here to remote access Trojan it'll tell us all about remote access Trojans and we can even watch videos here of it breaking computers here what's more is if you click here at the top we have RAT, Remcos, and Remote. This will take us to the search looking specifically for other types of rats. So you don't have to go hunting and finding these if you wanna look at other rats and watch what happened to other people using here or download it yourself and run your own new task. You can, you have all the time in the world. And even if you have the free version at 60 seconds, you have unlimited 60 seconds to do it over and over again, absolutely free. I think this is awesome for anybody because you don't wanna test this kind of stuff on your own computer and you might not have the, the, re, the, the resources to do this on your own computers, which I don't recommend unless you're an expert using virtual machines. Even then there's some risks. This is completely risk-free. It's completely friendly to all users. And I think everyone should be on this. It's totally fun. It's so informative. And I think the more people that know about how viruses work, the safer we will be. 
and congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this video not only informative, but also entertaining. I'd like you to tell me in the comments what happened. Did you break some computers? Did you infect some machines? And what happened? I'd love to hear your stories in the comment section. If you like this video, please help me by smashing that like button and subscribe if you'd like some more.